Hey guys, I'm back. So I just ran out of space in my app, apparently, and it said, sorry, you have to end your broadcasting right now. <laughs> so um, I'm going to see about Kelly um, merging the two videos together. We're almost done, you guys. You could pretty much see the card was almost done. We just have to embellish and then we have to reveal Jean's card. So we're really close, you guys. So there is a part two here. So let's just see if I'm live here now for part two. Um, see if anybody wants to come back and finish watching it. We were almost done. Oh my gosh. If I would have had 10 more minutes, you guys, we would have been done. So, all right. So you, I see Cindy's back. Yay. All right. So you guys, we are just about done and we're going to just wrap up the card and we're going to share with you Jean's card so you guys can see what she has. So Cindy, you're the only one back at the moment, but that's how it goes, right? <laughs> I'm glad that it happened. So when this happens, I'm happy that it happens to me and not Kelly, right? So and she is awesome. She's able to help me um, merge the video back together. So we're going to go ahead and um, do that. <laughs> I'll have to ask her to do that then. So, all right. So Mary Sykes is back. Yay. Hi, Susan Bellamy. So, okay. So we'll keep rocking through and sharing the rest of the card. All right. So let's flip this back down. So this is where we were at, you guys. We had it pretty much the front of it all good to go. And so what we can do now is put our tear and type. Hi, Catherine. Yeah. It wasn't actually the internet, you guys. Um, my Switcher Studio app had 41 videos in it. And every six months or so, I need to go through and delete them. They're not necessary because they are actually stored in YouTube. And so, um, unfortunately, what happened was I ran out of space. Hi, Becky Gandolfo. Oh, you guys are all coming back. Hi, Jean Terwilliger. Um, is back as well. Yay. There's Sandy and Dawn. Becky's here too. So, I, uh, I'm going to have to have Kelly, I'll, I'll ever merge the two videos together. So in case anybody's catching um, this now, there's the front end of this where we did all of our crazy shenanigans of making a beautiful card. Um, and now we're just on the final countdown of assembly. You guys get to see the finished product here now. Um, so I'll have Kelly, my cousin, um, who helps me with stuff. I will have her merge the two videos together so that you guys don't have... Um, to figure out the two videos to watch. So, all right, we're almost done here. This little dimensional is gonna cause me problems, so we're gonna put you right there to use tomorrow night, probably. All right, I think that this is turning out great. I have some gems somewhere. I definitely had some in-color dots that had pink on them that I, oh, here they are. I'm hopeful that these pink ones will look good. I have some oddball ones here. So I'm gonna put one of these there, and there. I think that looks good. And we will put, oh, uh, there's a medium one here. So we're gonna put those two together. We'll put that guy down there. And you know what, we're gonna do a cluster of three there and then we'll do this guy over there. And I know it's four embellishments, which is odd, right? You're supposed to do five or three, <laughs> but hear me out. I wanted to end that and have these fresh. <laughs> is that kind of OCD about like keeping this even? And I gotta find a spot to put those three on a card somewhere, but, um, or does it look better without it? It might look better without it and I'll leave it there. I have a hard time not doing the odds. I think I'm okay with the three like that. Um, you guys, we didn't sell it anything. Oh, I didn't, like, that's me changing my mind. You guys, are you like that too? And you're like, oh, I think I'm gonna do that. And then it's like, oh, I'm gonna do that. We're gonna put a little bit of Stella around our little label here. You can also Stella your ribbon as well. And I would stay away from the ink stuff because that might bleed on you, but you could definitely Stella up all of the designer series paper because that won't bleed on you. Thanks for sharing, Sherry Martin. Hello, hello. All right, so there we go. Whew, you guys, if I would have had 10 more minutes, I would have had this card all done. We were so close. Um, all right, I love the Lost Lagoon ribbon in there. It pulls out the peacock. I think that I'm gonna call this my finished product. No embossing on it, unfortunately. I didn't think about it at the time, but I could have easily embossed them with something cool like the splatters or um, the painted texture, but all right. So what do you guys think? Are you good with it? You like it? 
I'm good with it. Um, definitely adds character having the, um, the side panels like that. Um, I did realize here that these little guys, sometimes if you feel like they need a little extra glue, you could pull them back slightly like this and put a little bit of glue right on them. This guy too needs it. He needs a little help. Oop, that's a lot of glue, but I wait to glue them then like that when they're down um, versus putting, you know, like I adhere them first with the glue dots and then I can always add the extra little bit of glue, but you, they're good with three there. <laughs> Sandy says I'm funny. I know. I try. Huh. I sometimes like, embellishing is the like most fun thing for me on a card. I love embellishing, but to figure out where to put embellishments is not always easy. <laughs> so are you guys wondering what happened to Bigger Tigger? Um, he's right here. He's there. You can see, nope, not that way. That way. Here he is. Um, he fell off of the counter here trying to get from one end to the other end and he fell kind of sideways. He landed on his feet, but he kind of was falling sideways. Um, he might, you might see it in the video if you watched the earlier one. Um, thanks Barb. But he got sad and he is now sleeping. <laughs> so, um, all right. So are you guys ready? I'm excited. So let's see here. I'm gonna flip back down and let's see. So you guys, I'll take a picture of this and post it again on the event in my website and on the Facebook event. Um, as of right now, if you go to Facebook, you guys, um, you can go to, where's Facebook? Oh, hang on. Oh, there it is. Facebook is here. And if you go to Cards by Christine here, so go there, um, go to the events, so about, and go to um, the events right here right now share it's right here if you click on the discussion here i've already created the post did you find inspiration in the share create inspire card class share your creations here by wednesday june 14th you guys have a whole week um to be entered into the drawing and then i hope to remember to do the drawing <laughs> i'll do it during class on the 15th so that is the let's go fishing class is the 15th so that's where you guys can share so you just comment in here and you add your picture of your card. So that's where you would share your card. I'll do a drawing for a winner. And um, so here's Jean's card. So, all right. I'm going to use the scissors actually here. And let's see here. I should have a letter opener here. All right. So let's see what she has here. Okay, look at that. I don't think I'm too far off. I see she did do her optional embossing here. She used irresistible blooms, like three of the flowers and some of the leaves. She showed a little bit more of the side there. I, I left mine um, more covered up. She actually die cut a little um, rectangle here um, and she added some of the opal rounds. And her inside is uh, she used some of the Irresistible Blooms dyes on the side here. So cool. Okay, well, I'd say I did all right. So let's see here. All right, the reason for the photo, since I have never written directions to make a card, my hubby was the tester to verify what I left out. Thought you would enjoy the results of his card. By the way, he loved creating the card. Oh my gosh, you guys. Let's see what this is. Oh, Jean Maxwell shared a picture of her husband and the card that he made. You guys, so look at his card. Awesome. So he used here artistically inked designer series paper um, and then the die cut and birthday wishes on a little label punch. Very cool. And he looks so proud, Jean. I love it. Oh my gosh. So exciting that your husband got involved in our well, our class. That's so exciting. I love his shirt, Hilton Head, South Carolina. And there's like a mountain kind of, but it also looks like a wave and the sun in the back. I love this t-shirt. I think Tyler would love that shirt. <laughs> Very outdoorsy. So cool. So you guys here, we have three examples to share with you of how to make this card. Awesome. All very, yes, Linda Hunt, all very pretty cards. I love it. So exciting. So, all right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed our, oh, I think this was our third rendition. We did March, April, and May. Oh, June. This is our fourth um, Share, Create, Inspire card class. Awesome. Very, very cool. All right. He is a great hubby. I completely agree, Cindy. The fact that he got involved and tested out her instructions for us is amazing. 
So Jean, thank you so much for participating in our Share, Create, Inspire card class. Um, we appreciate it. With you, we got to do another class. Um, next month, you guys, we have Sherry Everett on the docket. Tucked Gatefold is what we're going to be making next month. Um, and so Sherry's already on the docket, which is awesome. And then I know I have a few outstanding with people, but I bet you any money will be good for August and through, you know, we'll be good for, you know, as long as people get their recipe cards. And I have to go in and look. I haven't looked at the spreadsheet lately, but I know I probably owe a few people their recipe cards. So this is fun. And again, you guys, if I get backed up where I have like five or six ahead, we'll add in another ad hoc class so that we um, can keep them rolling. So awesome, you guys. This was good. All right. So, you guys, what I have today, I'll be honest with you, I have two more classes. Now, not one class today, but not two, but three. At one o'clock, I have the monthly class in person. Uh, and then I also have the class again tonight. So I have an afternoon crowd that comes and then I have a PM, so 6 PM. So, um, and then on the counter is all the naturally yielded. So in between, mom's coming between three and five and we're gonna be mailing out packages to people who got the Let's Go Fishing and the Naturally Gilded because those two online classes are next week. So lots of stuff going on, you guys. So again, with the people that I owe emails to, just be patient. Just know I, I'll make sure if you're signed up for a class at this point that it'll happen. So don't have to worry about not getting it. So um, I make sure, well, I'll make sure that. So um, it's just going to take me a, a few, a, more than a, an hour or two to get through emails at this point, I think. So I got a good chunk on Sunday, but not enough. <laughs> um, awesome. All right, well, I'm going to get cleaned up here and um, start working on finishing off the Naturally Gilded. And so I'm ready for my one o'clock class and get some lunch, you guys. I hope you enjoyed our Monday. No, not Monday. Our morning is what I was going to say. Our morning stamping um, class time with each other. So awesome. Okay, you guys, Tigger says goodbye. He says he's um, going to get some lunch now too. Hi, Hildy. All right, you guys, lots of love to you. Um, lots of sunshine, hugs, and um love. All right. We'll see you tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Central for the June monthly card class. Love you a long time. I'm going to count to 10 just in case it uh, cuts out early. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 